Once you identify your target, close the breach, take the fire mech off, look through the problem vent hole, you should still be able to see the target. Soldiers of the 427 Field Artillery Battalion are practicing real-world tactics as part of a network integration evaluation at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. During the evaluation, the soldiers test their skills with the Paladin, a self-propelled artillery piece. The crew uses direct fire for self-defense, normally when the enemy is within half a mile. Today, they're launching high-explosive 100-pound rounds at targets up to 700 yards away. To aim, the chief of the gun section will look down the tube of the cannon, making small adjustments for a big impact. Oh, it's, it's great. Uh, not very many people get to do it because it's kind of dangerous to do direct fire, but there's a lot of new soldiers in the battery that haven't ever really got to see it or practice it. So I think we learned quite a bit of it today. The main objective of the network integration evaluation is to evaluate the ability to push large amounts of information, like real-time videos, faster and with the least amount of equipment possible. The biggest thing that it would help us with is we're going to be able to have those observers push us those fire missions a little bit faster. We prefer voice because it's the fastest way because digital takes so long, but now that we're pushing packets of information that are larger and in a more efficient manner, we'll be able to get those rounds downrange where soldiers need it. Because the network integration evaluation is held in a vast operational area, the communication network can be tested to make sure it will work in a deployed environment rather than just in theory. Army Staff Sergeant Bernardo Fuller, White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico.